Time to see the results of this first round of Spinball Cup 2019 and see who has made it to the second round. And also we will find out who has won the prize. As you remember, those of you who had predicted the correct results had chances to win these penmots. And you still have, because I have some more to give away. Yellow Spinner, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning. And today we will find out the winners of the first round and also we'll hear opinions of two experts. I think I also will tell you some thoughts of my thoughts regarding them. Oh yes, before we start, I compiled all the information about Spinball Cup at penstock.net slash sc2019. Link in the description and in the first comment to this video. Follow it and it would be easier for you to follow the tournament or watch how it went back then, if you're watching it in the future. In this case, say hello all this. How is it there? Do people arrive to Mars? So, Spinball Cup 2019 was made for our community and I let you guys to decide and choose winners according to your thoughts. Nevertheless, it is always good to hear opinions of more experienced pen spinners. First of all, let me introduce you Braza, finalist of RSPS Tournament Open Arena in 2017, who has become one of my favorite pen spinners and, to my opinion, he is one of the strongest pen spinners in Russian community. The second expert is Stay With Me. Yes, this is his nickname. The irrefutable judge of most of the tournaments which I have hosted. Ever. The guy on whose opinion and judgment I entrust and rely fully. Stay With Me is not the strongest pen spinner, but his vision makes him one of the best judges I know. So, here we go. Pro pen spinner, pro critic and voice of people for the first round. I've been thinking about that for quite a lot of time, uh, ever since I was... Uh, thinking about this tournament, eventually I have come to the conclusion that opinions of experts which would not influence the results of the tournament. Only voice of people would matter. I wanted to see what people like, not pros. Ok, let's get started, enough of these introductions. First battle was between Sea-Watch and Yerkosh. Both combos were executed pretty well. Yerkos has done a great job, he made a wonderful combo using some power tricks in it and Sea Watch had some pretty awesome passes and his links are more difficult. In overall, Sea Watch's combo was more original and spectacular to watch. This is why my vote goes to Sea Watch. Sea Watch versus Yerkosh. Yerkosh has a beautiful and smooth power combo with a competent choice of angle and background and mod color. But in my eyes, Sea-Watch, due to a competent combination of stylish elements, looks a little stronger. In execution, both have practically nothing to complain about. As for me, I would choose Sea-Watch as a winner of this battle. Because yes, his execution of these difficult and hard complex elements was flawless. Even though he has spent about 3 seconds on completely unnecessary spam-like passes from 6 to 9 seconds of his video. Yerko showed a good power style without a lot of difficult tricks, but with nice finisher and a lack of spam. I like both settings, we can see all the elements clearly, the background is ok, angle is good. Our true judge with capital J have decided to vote for Yerkosh. He has won this battle with an impressive gap between him and his opponent. After two days of voting, because this is how many days we have to vote for winners, he got 189 votes against 37 and he proceeds to the second round. My congratulations, Yerkosh! I'm really pumped to see your performance again. Second battle of round 1. Limes vs Nepo. Nepo has done quite a stylish combo with a very difficult triangle pass to spot the spin element in the end, but he had a serious slowdown somewhere in the middle of his combo and I didn't feel any confidence behind his links. But I still really appreciate that he tried to put out something stylish like this. Lime's combo was a little bit too long, however. His tricks were a little bit 
easier and less complex as Nefos ones, but they were executed perfectly with a lot of confidence behind them. And this is why my vote goes to Limes. Absolutely controversial battle. On the one hand, Nifo with a wonderful idea for combo of high complexity and air tricks, but with a very miserable knockdown at 7 seconds and weak by completing the combo. On the other hand, Limes with almost perfect performance, but uh, the combo is much simpler and too long. Given the competitive formats, I would still vote for Limes because uh, the quality of execution, in my opinion, in this case exceeds the complexity of the opponent, which is not brought to required level, slightly. I like Nipu's square pass to triangle pass, I loved this aerial pass to scissor spin, as well I really don't like this grab on the seventh second of the video. In general, I would agree that Nifo's execution lacked in confidence. Each second I was afraid that Nifo was going to drop a pen, though I know exactly that it wouldn't happen, <laughs> but it made me a bit nervous. As for Limes' video, the combo is way too long. Make it shorter and it would look much less spammy. To my mind, the whole middle part of the combo spoils the impression about his video. All in all, this is a very good power style, executed confident, smooth and fast. I also liked his angle much more than Nifu's and Guy's. I didn't include it in the video about the first round, but after execution Limes did this. Which definitely adds points to his execution. As you know, Filming for a tournament is very stressful. And to add some little things like this at the end of the good shot proves confidence and this is a nice approach. You can compare finals of the both video and see by yourself. But I don't know for whom I would vote in this battle. And it doesn't matter. Does it? Your choice was Limes. 198 votes against 126. The third battle. Self versus Ice Carbon. I can clearly see that both competitors are new to pen spinning. Well, I feel like Self just connected the best elements he knew and added pretty funny legs element in the end. His combo was definitely way too short and easy for competition. On the other side we have Ice Carbon, whose combo was just the right length and his links were a little bit more complex with some slowdowns though, but still my vote goes to Ice Carbon. In this battle Cell decided to make fun of completing his combo with legs, which turned out to be pretty funny, but his combo is too short, especially considering that about 3 seconds out of 8 went to the finisher and too simple. Ice Carbon's elements looks more polished, smooth and harmonious, although the slowdown at third second uh, looks a little sad. Definitely Ice Carbon. For a good angle. Nah, just kidding. For a nice complex combo, much longer than his opponent's combo, and a good angle. Though I appreciated this neat thing a la PPM fit Jan Jensen. The fourth, the last, but not least, the battle between Laker versus Ghost. Both combos were executed perfectly, Laker showed us a nice, well worked out, regular combo, his opponent, in my opinion, was level above him. Ghost came up with a really unique and stylish, strong combo made with a lot of confidence. This is why no doubt my vote goes to Ghost. The only thing I would recommend to both contenders is to get a camera stand so that the picture will be steady and choose a new background because spinning on the bat looks kind of awkward. You can see right away whose influence was exerted on Ghost in this battle. And in principle, if I took part of refereeing, I would for him, uh, despite the swaying camera and a not so good choice of background. The originality wins. Regarding Laker, Everything is less ambitious, but more polished, smooth and harmonious. Of course, 
Ghost was superior in this battle. In fact, his level is way above any participant of Spinball Cup 2019. I appreciate the difficultness and creativeness of his combo, but this is not the style I would like, to be honest. This element on 15 second of the video looked really weird. Though the whole combo in general looked whoa. And the way he does aerial bust. To my mind, this already looks superior. The Laker also showed nice execution, but of much easier elements. I watch this spinner on spinball.com pretty frequently and must say that his progress is impressive. Nevertheless, Ghost gave me much more good emotions. His combo was much more interesting to watch. I repeated it several times. Very good style, very talented, but misunderstood spinner. Voice of People chose Lacquer. 134 votes against 27. It pretty obviously shows the choice of community. And my sincere congratulations to you, Lacquer. You made it to the second round. My congratulations to all the winners of the first round of Spinball Cup 2019. It was a really interesting one. So intriguing with unexpected turns, so useful for both beginners and pros. And now it is the time to find out two winners of our today's giveaway. Two guys who will receive their Panamos for being right in their prediction. Ok, the sides, here we will paste the video, view comments 89, uh, yeah, let's put off this filter, 99 commenters, alright, here we go. Start and pick random winner. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I love how it looks. Grandpa, see watching Nifo is gonna win. No, 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 no. None of them have won. So unfortunately, your prediction was incorrect. You can and you should try yourself again in the next round. Let's pick another winner. Okay, let's start again. <laughs> Look, there is a bug. You have frozen. Well, this is what I like. Detailed, reasoned opinion on this round. I would give him credit just for this. But was he right in his prediction? I see your coach. This is right. And Limes. Friend, you are the winner of today's giveaway. That's really awesome. A bit later I will tell you how to get your prize. But first, let's make sure that he didn't cheat. Ok, he didn't. That's the only prediction for, his ba for this battle. He didn't try to choose several winners. And yes, good job, Brandon. But we have another video and another pen mod for to give away. Link to the video. Yes, uh, remove the filter. Get started 75. Ok, let's get started. I wonder if there are... Uh, Nicknames of actual commenters from the video. 8D lyrics! Hello, dude. He chose Laker and he's one of the winners. <laughs> I didn't tell that you should choose two winners, one for each battle. Though actually I meant to, but I didn't tell it. I know it wasn't too obvious, next time I will try to not to forget to tell you about that. But right now 8D lyrics met all the necessary conditions, didn't try to cheat. And I'm so happy for you, buddy. I know you wanted a pen mod for a long time. And finally you get one. Brandon and 8D Lyrics. To get your pen mods, you need to email to shop at penstock.net with the topic giveaway. Or I have won a giveaway, send me my pen mod ASAP. I'm so excited that I'm gonna jump out of my pants. And we will meet in the next video about next, the second round of Spinball Cup 2019. My name is Alex Sukhov, may the style be with you. Bye. After two days of voting, this is how many days we have for wo voting. For voting, the vote for winners. After two days of voting, this is how many days we have for voting for. This is how many days we have to vote for, for winners. Winners. This is so difficult sentence.